Hi, welcome to my first reading vlog. Um, the time now is 7 p.m. and I don't know why I chose this time to start the reading vlog. Um, but lately, like, um, I really haven't been able to focus on a book for a very long period of time. I think that maybe doing a reading vlog might help me get into the groove of committing more time to reading. I've just been reading sporadically, like 10 minutes here and there in a day, but I want to be able to read, you know, at least for like two hours a day. Um, and so this reading vlog, I'm gonna try and finish this book that I'm currently reading, which is How To Do Nothing by Jenny Odol, which is so relevant. <laughs> to my conquest of trying to concentrate my attention. Uh, so let's see whether I can do it. So um, I'm currently reading How to Do Nothing right now. I'm just going to show you. I'm currently reading the book on my iPad. It's just the books app. Nowadays I've, had, I've been having a lot of trouble focusing. I just... I think it's because I'm adjusting back to having my entire day back to myself again uh, because I'm no longer working um, and I, have, I no longer need to report to the office. I have some, you know, random gigs here and there but they don't require me to be at places at specific times so um, I, I always thought that I wasn't someone with who likes routine but I, I kind of see why routine helps people also um, I realize it's the first time I'm doing a, a vlog style content on my channel and you know like um, on a normal basis <laughs> filming in my room is like super noisy um, so I guess we'll, you'll see in the next 24 hours how noisy it gets uh, when I try to read and I try to do my own things uh, yeah, I probably will be reading and then editing videos and also just um, doing things. But for the next 24 hours, I'll be at home. So um, that'll be fun. So it doesn't watch me be a homebody, I guess. Uh, I'm just going to read a bit more now and then go have dinner with my family. And I'll check in later. <sighs> Why am I doing this to myself? just showered, just had dinner and um, I mean I had dinner and then I showered and I'm gonna be doing some edits um, first and foremost. I'm gonna be editing my January wrap up and uh, hopefully I'm gonna be done by tonight so that I can upload it tomorrow. Um, I haven't quite figured out um, a, a good time to upload videos. Um, I was thinking I should fix the timing like Tuesdays and Fridays but I don't know Tuesdays and Fridays seem a bit weird I think I, I like Thursdays so maybe I'll post on Thursday but this will be coming hopefully this will be out maybe I'll just post this on Thursday no <laughs> ah. um, yeah I'll just see uh, I'll post this tomorrow and then, um, I think I'm just going to post it on Thursday. It is now 10pm 10, 10 and I just finished editing and uploading uh, my video. Um, but I'm going to be editing the caption, right, the description box and everything in the morning. It's going to be 10 and I'm trying to get to sleep by 12. Um, so I'm just reading 
the book again, How to Do Nothing, um, I realized that I haven't been taking notes. So um, I'm just quickly going back into Notion and <laughs> writing down notes for all the previous chapters that I've read. Yeah, I realized that I sound so much more lethargic doing a vlog, which is why I don't usually do a vlog. Um, usually I take some time to warm up to the camera and then record a video um, instead of just talking kind of naturally to the camera like this. I am now at chapter 5 of um, How to Do Nothing and I'm really enjoying the book. Um, I've been wanting to read this book for a pretty long time, since like last year, maybe a few months ago. Um, and this book has been making its rounds in several book clubs, if I'm not wrong. Um, so it is a, I guess, pretty well-known book. Um, I like it a lot. I think it touches on a lot of the topics I'm interested in right now. So things like um, digital detoxes, about paying attention to the environment. Um, and I really like um, Otto's writing style. I think it mixes, um, it mixes like her experience in the arts as well as in teaching and as a nature lover. Um, it's also quite political, which I like, um, because there are real world consequences to be able to take back your attention. Um, and I really like that. I think um, I'm committed to finishing this, this book precisely because I find that my attention has kind of been stolen away from me nowadays. I've been spending a lot of time on social media apps um, way longer than I kind of intended. I'm gonna continue reading for a few more, for like I guess hopefully maybe a half an hour more or I yeah probably read it for a bit longer and then uh, I might catch up on my reading journal which I haven't updated for a few books or I could do that tomorrow morning who knows I don't know but yeah cool Nine forty-two. I think I will be planning my day first before I read anything. It's around 5 p.m. and I just finished reading reading the entire book. Um, first impressions, not first impressions, I guess, like overall impressions. It's a pretty amazing book. Um, it really touches on a lot of these um, big questions in my life lately, as of the past few months um, of, you know, the attention economy um, really about the political act of silence of resistance of doing nothing what it means to be productive um i think especially with the circuit breaker or the lockdown i guess um 
it really gave me a lot of time and space to think about what I really wanted out of life and what I felt would be a meaningful and like a meaningful life to me. Um, and I think growing up as a young person, you're fed with all these narratives of hustle mentality, um, of like economic collapse and, and these devastating news from everywhere and I don't think it's right to just switch off like I don't think that total unplugging is what Odell also kind of wants you to do um, I think it's really about resisting in very small ways every day and that can manifest through um, your actions I think one thing that she really talked about that was super one thing that she talked about that was really quite a key idea for me was um, dismantling as progress because what we always think is a, what we think of progress is addition um, building creating new things but there is value in dismantling there is value in in removing and in deconstructing um, this is this is value too. This is progress as well. Progress um, in a cyc cyclical cyclical fashion, regenerating, um, regenerating and kind of like breaking down, degenerating and then regenerating again. I mean that is the kind of cycle of life um, that has been how things are, you know, for a large part of humanity. Um, and that we're just stuck in an economy today where things are accelerated at a rate that humans can't like, physically and literally cannot cope with. Um, so I really, really enjoyed the book. Uh, one great thing is that Odo drops a lot, a lot of names and fantastic quotes from other authors. So I think my follow up to this book would definitely be finishing, uh, finishing braiding sweetgrass, which I have been. I've been dipping in and out of for the longest time, as well as um, Emergent Str Strategy by Adrian Marie Brown. This is a book that I've been touching also for the past few weeks. Um, I think very similar themes of what political organizing can look like that is organic, that is collective, that is, that is inspired by nature, inspired by ecology. Um, I think very similar uh, like trains of thought in these two books, Emergent Strategy, um, and also there's just so many other books that um, that auto drops that are super super interesting about humankind and being cons like looking at, at ourselves as animals or looking at ecology from a feminist perspective, um, looking at disasters, post disaster community organizing, all these sort of sorts of things are super interesting and very cool. Um, and I think I'll be yeah reading all these authors that she's mentioned in this year. I think that's so amazing. I love it when books give you more theories to grapple with. I love it when the author kind of draws from other amazing intelligent authors and writes um, in addition to the ongoing conversation, instead of pretending that they were the ones that started the conversations or they don't, they were the ones with the organic ideas. Like I think it's very clear that there's no such original idea in this world. Um, things are a, a continuation of a conversation. They're always in interaction with one another. Um, there's no such thing as like, I invented this completely new model of living. Um, I, yeah, and I really, really like books like that. Anyway, um, so I guess that's kind of the end of my reading vlog. Um, yeah, I guess you didn't really see me do a lot of reading because it's on my iPad, so it's a bit hard to, to show you as I read it. And also, isn't it a bit boring to just see me <laughs> flip the pages? Um, but yeah, I, um, if this kind of content is interesting to you, uh, kind of just comment and like the video and <laughs> tell me if you want to see more of these kinds of videos. It's kind of fresh I guess um, a bit different from the usual content because I'm just giving you thoughts fresh out of the oven like fresh out of my mind and you get to see my really <laughs> bad 
<laughs> totally not camera ready face. Um, so that's kind of fun too as well. Uh, yeah, so um, thanks for tuning in and I, I'll see whether I'll do more reading vlogs like this. It is pretty motivating. I managed to, to finish the book in two, in a day, 24 hours. So I, mean, I did start on it a few weeks prior, but I read the bulk of it in the past 24 hours. So that's great. And yeah, awesome. Uh, don't forget to check out my other videos or to follow me on Instagram. I think now I'm, after I'm done, with the book, I'm gonna go post um, my thoughts on it on my bookstar. So, if you're on Instagram, don't forget to follow me as well. So, see ya! Thanks for joining me.